Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And guys, today we're gonna be looking at UV filters. Let's get into it. So guys, UV filters. If, you know what, let me grab this. Let me grab this filter. This is a UV filter. Now, first of all, what is the purpose of this filter? It's got one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to protect your baby, your high quality, very expensive lens. Now, UV stands for ultraviolet, as most of you probably know, but I found so, so many guys buying cheap, crappy filters and putting them on very expensive lenses, and then they ask me, Rian, why is my quality on my images or my video bad? And it's the cheap ones of these. Now, I personally don't shoot with UV filters when I'm in a controlled environment as such. As, remember, this is an additional element. So putting an additional element onto your lens will bring down quality. If I shoot outdoors, yes, then I use these filters, but I use very, very high quality filters. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to determine if a filter is a high quality filter or if it's a bad quality filter. So guys, very simple. There's a whole bunch of brands out there which are very, very decent, such as your very popular Hoya, your Kenko, your Polo Pro, Tiffin, your Leaf filters, all these different filters out there. Now, all of these companies, they make high, high, high-end filters. Now, when it comes to Kenko and, and, and Hoya, they're definitely a good option to go with. They're very reasonably priced. Um, on both these, they make a 1D Pro version, a Pro D1 version, very similar um, model name. I'm not sure if that was just by accident or something, but these are both very, very good quality series of filters. They do both polarized, ND, as well as UV. Um, I think it's Woya, if I'm not mistaken, who's got a one step level below, which is a, it says Woya UV filter, and there's a little bracket with an O in them, and that's a specially coated filter. Those are also very, very good quality filters. Definitely something to look at. If you're not sure what type of filter you've got on the front of your lens, go to your camera right now, go pick up your lens and see if you've got a haze filter on there. And in my opinion, take it off. Now the reason for that is haze remove ghosting and flaring. Now a lot of people don't know that, they've just got a filter on there to protect the lens. Now a haze filter, it actually reduces sharpness. So yes, it's been frowned upon photographers for many, many years that you should not include hazing, oh sorry, you should not include um, ghosting or flaring in your images. In my opinion, it's the artist overall style if they would like to include or not include flaring, ghosting, anything whatsoever. So guys, just make sure you know what fault you've got on the front of your lenses. Uh, a lot of guys who walk around with uh, old film, uh, 35 millimeter film um, filters on the front of their lenses, then there's uh, some tint in them. So 1B or a 3A filter on there, which is obviously color filters. So they come to me and say, Rian, why are all my images slightly pink tinted? And that's because of the color tinted um, filter on there. Yes, some of those filters are so, so slightly tinted, you don't even notice them. But when you produce your images and you look on your PC at the end of the day, then you obviously notice that color on there. So guys, make sure you know what filter you've got on the front of your lenses. And I hope this video is useful. Guys, please do comment any questions you might have below. Remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.